Did you know that you can set up AI voices for your TTS on kick.com? If you didn't, I'll show you how to do it in today's video. It's super simple. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right. So first things first, what you need to do is go to the Kickbot app. I will link this website down in the description below. So simply go to this website. I've showed in the other videos how to register. If you want to see that, you can check those out. Simply register, make an account, verify it. And once you do that, you will access your dashboard right over here. So now that you're inside the dashboard, what you need to do is simply go into the AI TTS on the left side over here and you can set up different things. So as you can see, there is a lot of different voices you can use. Currently, only on the free version, you can use the default male and female. If you want to get the AI voices, the specific ones, you will have to get the premium version of the program. So keep that in mind, but you do have the normal voices you can use for normal TTS. So TTS enabled, obviously you want to have this on, you have the automatic TTS, so it automatically reads every message through TTS if you want to have that set up. If you don't find it too annoying, you can set it up. If you do find it annoying, obviously don't. Read sender name, that's if you want your TTS to read like user this and that has said, and then it reads out the message. So it reads their name before the actual message. If you want that, you can enable it. And then over here, you can enable some delays, cooldowns, and global cooldowns. That way, people don't spam it too much. Once you've set all of those up, you have the max characters you can set up. So specific messages that have more than those characters will not be read through TTS. And then obviously, you can enable uh, the volume. You can adjust the volume up and down to whatever you think fits your channel the best. That way, once everything is set up, you can explore some voices, like I said, over here, you can add them. If you do add them over here, click on add, they will be into the saved voices over here. And then you just need to add it as a browser source on your OBS. Once that is set up, you will have all of your TTS ready to go. So we just need to go right over here, click on this button, it will copy our browser URL, and then you go into the OBS itself and paste it right there. So in order for us to add this to OBS, all you need to do is obviously open OBS up, go to sources, right click, add, and then go to browser source right here. Click on browser, name it TTS or kick TTS or whatever you want. Click OK, and then change this URL to the URL on the website that you just copied. So uh, copy that right here. You can click OK. You don't need to change anything because this is not a visible uh, source at all. It doesn't matter where it's placed. And then, now if you go back to the website and test it out, you'll be able to hear it. So on the website, you can actually notice there are chat commands. So if you click right here, you can see which chat commands you can use for your channels. You can use TTS off to disable TTS. You can enable it. You can clear it, skip it, all of that right over here. So if you want to use a specific TTS voice right now, you go to save voices, you can click on listen. Kick is the best streaming platform. So you can hear it right over there. And then you can also test it out by running the command exclamation mark TTS or whatever command you want to set up. You can also enable certain permissions for everyone, VIP, sub or mod. That way only certain roles can actually use TTS. And that's basically it. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my kick guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.